Patricia McPherson is of course best remembered by us as mechanic Bonnie Barstow in Knight Rider, the one who kept Kit running at his peak, rebuilt him when Michael destroyed him, and, at least for the early episodes, provided some romantic tension in the show. Before her time in Knight Rider, Patricia also did some modeling and was even briefly a spokesmodel for Salem Light Cigarettes. Don't smoke, kids. Patricia left acting in 1991 to pursue her passion of saving endangered wetlands in Southern California. So a quick look at her acting credits reveal very few entries. With that, let's explore Patricia's other acting roles to include her very first Hollywood appearance. When looking at her credits on IMDb, it's mostly correct and complete, with the exception of a few erroneous entries that Patricia actually didn't participate in. I'm looking at you, Men in Black and Warehouse 13. We also have a copy of Patricia's resume, which, along with IMDb, should be the most complete look at her Hollywood career. So let's begin with her very first acting role. Patricia had a small role in a 1978 sci-fi short called Libra, where she played the character of Sue. Let's take a look. We hope you find the information useful during your stay. You know, what's fascinating is that these communities weren't built by a government. I heard they were started by a bunch of real pioneers. High frontiers. <laughs> Must have cost a fortune. Mm, but the first ones have already paid for themselves. Libra? After Libra, IMDb lists her next credit as an uncredited part in 1980's The Stuntman, starring Peter O'Toole. Well, we watched this movie and couldn't find Patricia anywhere in it. That, coupled with the fact that it's not on her resume, leads us to believe that this credit is incorrect. Same goes for the next one on IMDb, that of a Venetian in the 1981 production of The Tragedy of Othello. The full three-hour video is on YouTube, and Patricia is not only seen in it, but she isn't even in the credits. Alright, so in chronological order, Knight Rider would be Patricia's second acting credit, four years after Libra. She was on the show from 1982 to 1983, as you probably know, and then returned from 1984 through 1986. During her year off from Knight Rider in 1984, Patricia had a small role in the TV movie Concrete Beat, starring Tom Bray of Riptide fame. Let's take a look. What do you want from me? Well, I'll tell you. I have this terrible problem. No, really, I mean... I know I haven't known you long, but I can tell you the kind of sensitive, caring woman. Mickey. Okay. Here we go. I happen to be a closet heterosexual. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not funny. You don't know the shame, the pain. I remember when I first realized it was summer camp. I was 12, or maybe 11. Mickey. I saw this magazine. Cut to the chase. So how about dinner? What about dinner? What about dinner? I'd love to. Fine. What time? Well, where are we going? 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 What do you mean going? Whatever happened to girls who cook? That's a joke. I'm not serious. That's good. So, where? I know this quiet little place. 21. I was thinking more along the lines of this. French? Chinese. You know, I completely forgot. I do have something tonight. Maybe next week, huh? Do me a favor. Think Chinese. <laughs> Besides her acting roles, Patricia did participate in other productions as herself, such as Family Feud and Circus of the Stars in 1984, among others. 
Thank and you. And to her left is Patricia McPherson. Ha ha. <laughs> Night Rider. You got it. Got Phyllis Davis call. from Vegas. Welcome, Hi. Phyllis. Thank you. And Yvonne. Night Rider. Not yet. Not yet. It's about I time they slugging. gave you one. <laughs> Look who you are. <clears throat> what do the boys want to be when they grow up? Firemen. Ooh, good answer. Firemen. <laughs> Number one. It's all there, 171, nothing there. Let's go, come on. Got a brand new heroine coming up here, Patricia and Adam. You two doges to play against, it's terrible. What a guy, keep talking and I'm gonna think. hit this thing. <laughs> Flatten your hand out there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, he thought you were nice, but he stuck with some under the crown. <laughs> I'll keep him. 100 people surveyed top five answers on the board. Here is the question. Name something a girl would keep as a souvenir of a memorable date. Adam. Flowers. A flower. Oh, yeah. Player pass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna, to yeah, we're gonna play it. Play it. See, it worked. He did that measurement. Running for Knight Rider's Patricia McPherson. The first race pits Emma Sands for ABC against Patricia McPherson of NBC. Patricia, the lankier of the two, should have the most speed, but Emma should have the advantage in the call through. They're even through the tires. McPherson rolled under the crawl through. Now that's legal. She is the first one to the wall. A oh, little trouble there. Whoop, Pat McPherson went on the wrong side of the slalom. That will be a penalty for her. Over the hurdles. And Emma, a slight stumble there at the finish line. Let's take a look at the times. Patricia McPherson had a three-second penalty for starting the slalom pose on the wrong side, but she was still fast enough to beat Emma Sam's 24.92 seconds to 25.27. Now let's take a look at what happened to Emma. She had a lot of trouble getting under that crawl through. She literally crawled through that crawl through and it cost her the race. In 1985, Patricia had a role of a Federal Reserve executive in the movie Prime Risk where she starred alongside Knight Rider alums Tony Hudson, who played Max in Night by a Nose, and Clue Gulliger, who played Gene Hansen from Buyout. Let's take a look. Germany, France, all the European markets. Somehow the Saudis were also convinced Saudi to join the list. Don't ask me how. It's beginning a snowball effect across the country. We've got a liquidity crisis you wouldn't believe. Chase Manhattan's prime lending rate is already at 20%. 20%? It was 15 a half hour ago. Yeah. You've got to have your authorization right What now. am I signing here? I don't know. It's so what does the cash reserve situation look reserve. like? We store approximately $500 billion here in emergency jam. cash. And that was gone within the first hour. I can't believe this. This screen over here gives us a current picture of the reserves deposits. We're $950 billion short right now. So what does this line represent? One trillion dollar deficit. Give me a graphic expansion on that, please, Ed. That level has been determined as rock bottom. I wonder this line and this glorious country we call America will be completely bankrupt. Many fans of Knight Rider took note of the fact that Patricia was not in the final episode of the series, Voodoo Night. We asked Patricia about her absence, and here's what she said. At the end of the season, I was working on an action-adventure film where I played a diver. The dive knife came up out of the sheath in a running scene and cut my Achilles tendon in half, and that took a year to heal. That sounds terrible. That was the reason I left the series one episode short, because I was a lead in this feature. So finding this production was a bit difficult. It wasn't listed on her IMDb profile. However, it is listed on her resume. It's the 1986 film, The Patriot, where Patricia's accident occurred. We reviewed this movie, and Patricia is not in it, leading us to believe that she was recast after her injury. But she still left it on her resume, since she did work on it. 
All right, so after her recovery, Patricia did guest star in an episode of the short-lived series Starman, starring Robert Hayes, in a late 1986 episode called Fatal Flaw, where she played the character of Jessica Bennett. We have a clip. Come on! Snap it up! We gotta get this plane off the road before some other jackass comes along and drives into it! Hello, I'm Paul Forrester. How lucky for you. Now get back by the tail and swing it around when I tell you. You, grab the wing. Hey, no, just a second, lady. You're always... Hurry up. Here comes another jackass. Well, how do you like highway landings? You were supposed to gas it up last night. Yes. Checking the gas is more or less the job of the pilot. Are you okay, mister? I know what you're thinking, Dad. I've been hearing it since I was six years old. Conrad Bennett's first law. The test pilot's always right. It's what keeps him alive. But Joe's so damn cautious. And we're running out of time. I went to the bank this morning and talked to Sam. He says if we can't show the investors some results soon, we could lose everything. One way or the other, we gotta get the hawk into the air. In one of Patricia's most well-known roles outside of Knight Rider, she guest starred on the wildly popular MacGyver in a 1986 episode called Jack of Lies, playing Michelle Mike Forrester. That character would return in another MacGyver episode where she was killed off, but she was played by another actress in that second appearance. Fresh off MacGyver, Patricia then moved on to a role in an episode of Dynasty, 1987's The Testing. We have yet to find a clip of this episode, but we did manage to track down this screenshot. Fans of science fiction no doubt remember Patricia in the wildly popular syndicated series Star Trek The Next Generation. She played Ariel, a member of a female-dominated society, in the first season episode Angel One in 1988. Moving on, Patricia appeared in what would be her final movie role, playing an unnamed girl in the 1990 movie Aftershock. Here's a clip. Also in 1990, Patricia appeared in an episode of Murder, She Wrote, playing Betty in an episode titled A Body to Die For. We can't show you the actual clip here, YouTube, but we do have some screenshots from the episode. And finally, Patricia's last TV appearance. Sporting a new chopped haircut, she appeared in the two-part episode The Witness Killings in 1991. Again, we weren't able to find a clip to show you, but here's a still from that episode. So IMD also lists her having appeared in the 1997 movie Men in Black and a 2009 episode of Warehouse 13, both of which are incorrect. She was not in those. Patricia left acting in 1991 to focus her attention on environmental issues, which have been her true passion for the last three decades. Except for appearances at the 2004 and 2006 Night Nationals fan events, Patricia has been focusing solely on her passion for saving endangered wetlands in Southern California. So, did we miss any of Patricia's acting roles? Maybe she had an uncredited part in another movie or TV series. Let us know in the comments. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. Talk to you next time. And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean.
We are featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider Prop Restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider History Hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.